Hello, I'm Semi Anuri, Product Manager for Professional Products at JVC Kenwood. Today I would like to introduce you to some new features of our GYHC 550 cameras. Recently we have introduced the SRT, the Secure Reliable Transport Protocol, into this camera and you can now select this protocol by going to the streaming menu, as I will show. This protocol has been optimized for low latency and high data transmission efficiency and security. So uh, even with a bad internet connection, you can get a good and reliable stream. This protocol can be used in conjunction with the decoder and uh, the decoder will supply a regular SDI signal. The camera itself encodes in H.264 and of course you can use that uh, compression format with SRT, but you can also use H.265 we offer an expansion slot in this camera and by putting in this little module, which is an H.265 encoder, you can basically encode H.265 in conjunction with SRT, which is very efficient. So you can use full HD 1080p 50 or 60 in conjunction with H.265 at bit rates as low as 5 megabits per second with excellent image quality. This technology, SRT, in conjunction with LTE and 5G networks will revolutionize the field of news gathering. By using the decoder, you will get a regular SDI signal that you can input into any switcher and uh, use in your studio just as any satellite link or a similar signal, but at a fraction of the cost because you're using existing infrastructure of LTE and 5G networks to, to be coming. So with the SRT technology that we put into our cameras, uh, it becomes a very interesting camera for news gathering, outside production where you can stream directly to the studio and many other applications. Here you can see the BRDE900 decoder which is capable of decoding H.264 and H.265 encoded signals. It is gen lockable and can output the signal as SDI and or HDMI. In this video, you can see a decoded SRE stream coming from our HC550 camera, and the output is shown on this monitor here via SDI link. Here I will show you how you set up the menus in the camera for SRT streaming. You open the menu and go to network settings. Here you go to live streaming and you choose streaming server. So now you can pick one of the four servers and set it up with the SRT protocol. As you can see, there are many different protocols that the camera supports. Here we will choose SRT. There are three modes. The camera can be caller, which means the camera will initiate the stream as a push protocol, but the camera can also be configured as a listener. That means the other party will initiate the stream or in rendezvous mode, uh, both uh, the camera and the other party will agree on which device will start the stream. Here we'll go to caller mode in this case you can assign a port and you can assign a stream ID. The stream ID enables you to use more than one camera stream with just one single port if you have a decoder that can decode several streams at the same time. There are some extra settings for SRT, bandwidth overhead, latency, encryption, and FEC forward error correction, which makes the transport even more secure and reliable. Once we are done with the setup, we can now choose our SRT test setup and choose a resolution. You can choose anything from 1920 by 1080, 720p or lower resolutions and a frame rate and a bit rate. With the H.264 encoder, bit rates are relatively high here. If you do use the H.265 module, then you can go to much lower bit rates with similar quality. You just saw how easy it is to use SRT in conjunction with our cameras. I hope that my presentation was interesting and thank you for watching and see you in my next video.